After raining heavily all morning, the weather clears for the second rugby test played at Athletic Park Wellington on a very muddy ground. Quickly, the Lions went into the attack and kept play in the New Zealand half for the first three or four minutes, driving down to the goal line. The All Blacks are awarded a penalty from the scrum. Quick tap by Lahore, the captain, to Willimant, who slams it into touch. With five minutes gone, a scrum four yards outside the All Blacks' 25. Nathan is penalised, and the Lions nominate a kick at goal. Wilson, the fullback, takes it. It's a beautiful kick and the Lions have three points on the board. Near halfway, Laidlaw flicks it to McRae. And he kicks ahead, but the wind holds it up. Beautifully taken by Ben. He kicks over Willimant's head. It's inside the 25. It's on the ground and into touch two yards from the All Blacks line. Smith throws it in for New Zealand, but it's out again. The All Blacks on defense. Bibb throws in, taken by Thomas, and a penalty to the Lions. Wilson takes the kick from the identical position to his first. But it hits the right hand upright and bounces back into play, and the all-black forwards push the Lions back, and Mr Murphy calls for a set scrum. Four minutes later from another set scrum near halfway, and the Lions are penalised. Willimant attempts a kick at goal from 50 yards out. It's a long kick with a heavy, wet ball. The strong southerly wind catches it in mid-flight and puts it into McBride's arms and he claims a fair catch. He makes good use of it and puts it into touch three yards from the halfway flag. Laidlaw has the ball. McRae has it down and he crashes through the Lions. He passes back to Laidlaw, to McLeod, to Tremaine and he pops it down for a well-deserved try for New Zealand. Willimant takes the kick and it goes all the way and New Zealand go into the lead after 15 minutes. Two minutes later and it's a tight head to the Lions. Lewis to Watkins who takes a pot at goal and the Lions go back into the lead six points to five. Penalty to New Zealand. But conditions are against Willimant and it falls short. 
Watkins sends it back and into touch it goes. Norris takes it for the British Isles. Lewis to Watkins. To Gibson. To McFadgen. To Hinshelwood. Back to McFadgen. To Gibson. He dodges Laidlaw and dives for the line. But the referee has called them back. Lamont is penalised for a late tackle. An unfortunate mistake. Laidlaw taps, then puts it upfield. Watkins is there but loses it. New Zealand kick ahead and over the goal it goes and Wilson forces. Lewis dive passes to Watkins and he puts away a lovely kick to five yards from the All Blacks 25. Penalty to the British Isles. The All Blacks don't retire quickly enough and the Lions gain 10 yards. Wilson comes up and over it goes and he kicks his second penalty of the day. Willamont kicks off. Norris takes it. They're rucking for it now. But the referee breaks them up. Penalty to New Zealand. Willamont kicking directly into the wind, distance about 50 yards. A magnificent kick dead centre and New Zealand start to close the gap. Stan leads to Laidlaw. To Winnie, who attempts a drop goal, but it's to the left and the British Isles force. Lewis to Watkins, but he can't pick it up. Gibson has it and he kicks ahead. Hinshelwood races after it, but Willimon beats him. Bebb throws the ball right to the back. Lewis has it, he gives it to Norris. To Henshelwood, who slips on the muddy ground. Norris has it again. And Steele brings him to the ground, and the score remained British Isles 9, New Zealand 8 at half time. Three minutes gone in the second half, Lewis to Watkins. He's taken by Laidlaw. Nathan picks it up and passes to Tremaine, to Colin Meads who goes over to score for New Zealand. A fine manoeuvre by New Zealand, resulting in another three points. Willimon takes the kick. And it's over, and New Zealand takes the lead. Telfer has the ball, and Lahore has him. They're rucking, but the referee breaks it up. Ground has cut up badly after the overnight rain, and both packs are starting to tire. Lewis has the ball. And he's penalised for not releasing it soon enough after being tackled. Willamont kicks, but it's to the right, and the score remains New Zealand 13. British Isles 9. Laidlaw to Heroini, to McRae. He's down on the 25. Colin Meads has it and he's off for the line. He passes out to Steele.
side. He's bundled into touch one yard from the line. All Blacks on attack. Laidlaw throws a long one to McRae. Laidlaw again. Lewis has it now. He's taken by Laidlaw and they're called back. Lewis to Watkins. And he kicks ahead. McRae charges it down. Tremaine snaps it up. Passes to Steele. Colin Meads. Lahore. Steele. And over he goes. Willimant missed the kick. And New Zealand have a good seven-point lead with eight minutes to go. Murphy has the ball. Laidlaw kicks for touch. Bebe is in the way. Laidlaw tries to pick it up, but they're on top of him. Telfer has it to McBride. They're on the goal line. Wait for it. But the ball won't come out of there. Lewis puts it in. But he must have knocked on. Laidlaw puts it in this time. They're holding it and pushing back the Lions. Laidlaw trying to catch Lewis and Gibson offside. And Laidlaw clears. A penalty to the Lions with three minutes of play left. Watkins, the captain, tells Mr. Murphy that they'll take the kick. Wilson comes up. Yes, it's over. The All Blacks have won again in a very exciting close game played in the true spirit of international rugby.